tonight, shooting a make-believe gun that was really a pencil. Got a second grader suspended in Suffolk. A school spokesperson says they have a zero tolerance policy when it comes to weapons. But the boy's parents tell Ten on Your Sides and McNamara administrators at Driver Elementary overreacted. She joins us now with a story you'll see only on 10. And. And the question becomes, is a pencil a weapon? Seven-year-old Christopher Marshall showed me how he and another student pointed the pencils at each other during class. He said he was just playing, didn't mean it as a threat. Today, he's sitting at home, suspended from the second grade. Go ahead and show me what you did to the teacher. <laughs> That noise got Christopher Marshall suspended. The seven-year-old says he was playing with another student in class, but instead of sticks, they were using pencils. When I asked him about it, he said, well, I was being the Marine and the other guy was being the bad guy. I mean, it's as simple as that. Christopher's dad, Paul, was a Marine for many years. He thinks school leaders overreacted. A pencil is not a weapon and when it's being used correctly. A pencil is a weapon when it's pointed at someone in a threatening way and gun noises are made. The Suffolk school system has a zero tolerance policy and spokesperson Beth Ann Bradshaw admits that policy has tightened up in recent years because of widely publicized school shootings. Some children would consider it threatening who are, you know, are scared about um, shootings in schools or shootings in the community. Um, you know, it, it, the kids don't really think about cowboys and Indians anymore. They think about drive-by shootings and murders and everything they see on the television news every day. But the marshals say school administrators failed to use common sense. Christopher has good grades and no history of being disruptive. They pointed out a line on the suspension notice. The teacher wrote, I told him to stop and he did. Enough is enough. I mean, it's, I see it as the tail is now wagging the dog. One thing is for sure, Christopher won't play like this at school <laughs> from now on. Suspensions can last up to 10 days. Christopher will only be home for two. The school makes that determination based on every situation, that student's age and behavioral history. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.